died for this wet cigarette. I'd forget about this road and this place I'm in. I Watching me make my own mistakes I wish I could break this window pane If you'd answer the phone and keep your pride awake One shot, baby, and this is what I'd say Finally finding myself I wish you Welcome back to another video. We are headed back into the marsh in the kayak once again We're gonna go see if we can pick out a few more redfish and maybe some flounder But before we hop into the video I just wanted to tell you guys that the old 18 rods I've been using I've tried them and they've been proven true. Honestly, they're a premium upper end rod But what I wanted to say was that they are now available to you guys for 20% off using my discount code Braden20. Link is in the description where you guys can go check out the rods. The ones that I use are the suppressor and area. So those are the ones I'd recommend. I've used them on the redfish, the flounder, trout, and they've just been a lot of fun. They're super light in the hand, very sensitive action. I've enjoyed them. So if you guys are interested, the holidays are coming up and you can use my discount code to save a couple bucks on the rods. Just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. So without further ado, let's hop in the video and go catch some fish. Oh, I just love the mud so much. Oh. <clears throat> Having to scoot. Oh my gosh. Come on. I got a mud dung on my boat. There we go. I got her off. All right. We're having to scoot our way in here. But here we are. Bunches of bait. And check it out. Today is glass, calm. And right now the wind is like five max zero where I'm at right at the moment but oh man this should make fishing so much more enjoyable last trip we were getting scooted by the wind I am pumped we got up early and I think I hope it's gonna pay off all right y'all check it out this is our lure that we're gonna use with the bait caster today it is actually a bass lure so I'm really interested in seeing how it works out we're throwing it weedless really light hook there and then and then on our spin combo here we are going to throw what is called a redfish killer lure i actually just found this in a bag of old scrap plastics and it looks really good i wanted a dark color for this really nasty turbid marsh water so we got a black or it's like a dark green color with a yellow paddle tail on there so i'm really excited this one has a heavier jig head so i can kind of alter around with lure weights um, by changing rod so that is the plan. We're going to look for some flounder, redfish, and whatever is going to bite in here. So I'm confident. I really think this bass lure, it's like, it's supposed to resemble like a crawfish. I really think it's going to be good for these flounder. So we're going to see if I'm right. So you can see this really well in the water, this dark back, and then you can see the legs just kind of crawl. I'm thinking that the fish might mistake it for a shrimp. So I've been seeing quite a few shrimp in here and I think having that action there is gonna make it look like a shrimp tail. So we're gonna see how it works out. One more thing, check it out. Look what we didn't forget today. We got ourselves a good old fashioned net. And I'm hoping that's gonna keep us from losing more flounder like we did in the last kayak fishing video. No one else can roast me about not bringing a net. All right, check it out. We just switched it up. The bass crawfish lure was kind of spinning on the weightless hook. So we're just gonna go with a dark, dark green plastic with a yellow tail here. Doesn't put off really any vibration, but I think it might add some finesse so I can cast the lure and reduce that splash. So it'll kind of create a smaller splash. Mullet, 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 and more mullet. All 
I cannot believe we haven't caught anything yet. Oh my gosh. Big redfish right here. Nope, and he spooked. Dead gum, dude. That was a good fish. There was a nice redfish cruising out of this channel. That was a brute. Redfish was just cruising. Saw him a little too late. They are in this channel, that's for sure. Every time I sit down, a freaking redfish pops up. Like, I swear, every time, both times I saw those reds, it was right after I sat down, pedal up a little bit. So I'm gonna have to be slow and steady here and really fish this. See if there's any flounder or something. Or reds tucked in here. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh my goodness. We got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's it gonna be? Redfish, baby. Gosh, listen to that drag. Oh man, that feels so good. We have been searching for fish all morning. And I finally came up into this little creek channel and saw two redfish. They spotted me and we finally played it right. There we go. And we got a net for this dude today. If you guys roasted me, Last video for not having a net. Well, uh oh, don't get in my drive, bro. If you guys roasted me last time for not having a net, you gotta drop a comment right now. Look at me, we came prepared today. Oh man, that is a fighter. <sighs> Feels so good, so freaking good. Plan is coming together. That was so sick. He waked and just absolutely, oh, get out of the grass. Absolutely crushed that lure. In this dirty water, you wanna be throwing something with a dark complexion. I like black or like a dark green, like this lure. Really profiles well. Come here, buddy. Thank you. All right, you guys, so per usual, I restarted the clip and the GoPro froze up. I was not able to get a lick of the footage showing you guys the redfish. Basically what happened was when I started recording, the, the camera just froze and basically the file is unviewable. So it's like a broken file. When you try to replay it, I tried repairing it. Nothing has worked. This has happened quite a bit, so. It's unfortunate, but it was our first fish of the day, which was good, so let's keep fishing. Lure looks like it's still ready to rock. Hopefully there's gonna be another fish in here. I've seen three counting the one we just caught, so that's a really, really good sign considering I haven't seen any other fish today. Nothing for sure. I mean, I've seen nice wakes, but it's always good to see the actual fish you're trying to catch. <laughs> So uh, it happened again. I had the camera rolling, but the entire clip this time was frozen. It glitched and none of it was replayable. So I caught a, it was probably a 20 inch redfish. It was pretty small. It was on the lower end, but um, just wanted to throw that out there. Once again, I'm getting fish, but we're not getting them on video. As the title says, it's been a struggle. Oh my gosh, dude. I thought I just heard a giant blow up here, but I heard it simultaneously like three times in a row and I look over and there's a freaking probably 18 inch horse mullet. Got me excited there. We're gonna swing around, see if we can catch a few more in this channel and then wrap around to some new 
water we haven't covered yet today. So hopefully we can find a few more. I'm trying to get a flounder as well, but I don't know. Things are not happening how I thought they would. There he is. There he is. I felt that smack. I think that's a flounder. I want to think that's a flounder. Yeah, that's fighting like a flounder. Come on, Net, get out. Dude. Yeah, we got a flounder. Oh my gosh. All right, we got my net out. All right, we got my net out. Oh, yes. That is a beast. Oh. You got to be kidding me. You got to be absolutely kidding me. I don't know what to say there, y'all. I had a net this time. Wasn't hooked well, but he absolutely annihilated that freaking lure. I just felt the whoosh. Ah, oh, dude. I don't even know what to say. Don't have words for that one. I am cursed with flounder. Net or no net? <laughs> Dang it, dude, that was a nice one. All right, all right, well, we are still out here. The wind has picked up quite significantly and it is, it's ripping me around. So I am gonna actually go try a, a spot I haven't tried before over here. See if we can pick up a few fish. I really want to, I really want to flounder. Now that we lost that flounder, I really want to get one and put it in the boat. So far, the past couple trips, we are, 0 for 3 on big flounders. I gotta redeem myself. You know, the first two I didn't have a net. This one, I had a net. I thought I was doing it right. But I already know some of you guys are gonna try to give me some advice. One of you said, boat flip the flounder in next time. Well, the flounder was barely hooked last time and this time. So if I boat flip it, it's just gonna rip the dangling hook out again. So that's not an option, you know. It's just, that's the way it goes sometimes though. Hopefully we can get on a few more and put something good in the boat man it's been a struggle like the last trip it has been a struggle And that right there is what I like to call the icing on the cake for a struggle, a beat down of a day. We got it handed to us. Didn't even get a good shot of a fish, even though we caught a couple. But hey, at least we have Sadie to come back to. She said it's all right. We'll get him next time. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, I had fun other than the fact we had such serious difficulty filming. And then on top of that, the fishing was extremely hard. I fished for a long time and we didn't really see much going on, but I was just trying to grind a couple out there. So with that, I think we're gonna make a move here. I mean, the fishing isn't bad right now. It's just out of the kayak, it's been a struggle for me, especially because I'm not exactly a very experienced bay fisherman. This year I've gone harder than I ever have fishing in the bay. I still don't have a whole lot of experience in that in that area of fishing. So I think we're gonna head up north and go hunting. I've been fishing in the bay pretty hard. I don't know, what have we made, like seven or eight bay fishing videos here. And um, yeah, I just need a quick break from that. The hunting is in prime time right now, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it. We're gonna go up there and look for some pigs, some deer, and maybe some exotic animals that I'm not gonna name yet. So with that, you guys stay tuned for future videos. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss those. We'll We'll get back here fishing again soon once the bite starts picking up again so hope you guys liked the video please drop a like if you did if you're interested in helping the channel out i have a link down below to lonesome country store if you make a purchase on the website it'll help me out and you can get yourself some jetty fishing spoons the same ones i use you can get some other really nice fishing gear like the shimano slx that i use that i just got for inshore bay fishing i've loved it so you can go get that there at a pretty good discount so with that said, I'm signing out. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.